Pack of Dorks is a compassionate and insightful novel by Beth Vrabel, targeted at middle-grade readers, that explores themes of friendship, acceptance, and self-discovery through the experiences of its protagonist, Lucy. Lucy Callahan is a fourth grader who, at the story's outset, enjoys her status as the second most popular girl in her class. She maintains this position by aligning herself with the most popular girl, Becky, at the cost of suppressing elements of her true personality. However, Lucy's secure world is turned upside down when she learns she is going to become a big sister. To her dismay, the baby, a little girl named Molly, is born with Down syndrome, which prompts deep introspection and concern on Lucy's part about the nature of acceptance and prejudice. At school, things go from bad to worse when Lucy kisses the most popular boy, Tom, during a game of spin the bottle at Becky's birthday party. The kiss backfires, resulting in her social downfall as Becky decides to ostracize her. Lucy's former friends start bullying her, and she suddenly finds herself relegated to the loser table at lunch with other social outcasts, such as Sam Ryder, a sensitive boy who is a target for bullies due to his perceived weirdness. As Lucy struggles with her loneliness and confusion over the loss of her status, she begins to forge unexpected friendships within this group of misfits, which includes April, a girl who stands out for her fashion sense and forthrightness, and a quiet, intelligent boy named Rafa. With this shift in her social circle comes a series of life lessons. As Lucy spends time with her new friends, she comes to understand the value of true friendship and the importance of being oneself, rather than conforming to peer pressure and societal expectations. While grappling with these personal developments, Lucy is also faced with the challenge of accepting her sister's condition and the ways in which it will change her family. Initially, she fears that Molly's Down syndrome will subject the entire family to the same sort of ridicule and exclusion Lucy is experiencing at school. However, as she grows closer to Sam, April, and Rafa, Lucy's perspective on difference and disability evolves, teaching her empathy and the power of genuine connection. In a plan to seek revenge on Becky and her clique, Lucy and her friends come up with the idea to write a book about werewolves, drawing parallels to their own situation of feeling like outcasts. They work together on this project, which strengthens their bond and helps them realize their individual strengths and talents. The process not only forges a deeper friendship among them, but also gives them a greater purpose and sense of pride. Amidst these developments, Lucy is also dealing with her feelings toward Tom and questions whether his recent acts of kindness are sincere or a tactic to bully her further. As she navigates these complicated emotions, Lucy continues to learn more about herself and what she truly values in herself and others. The story takes a significant turn when Lucy and her friends decide to turn the tables on their bullies. They embrace their dorky status and form a pack of dorks, showing solidarity and refusing to be shamed for who they are. This act of unity and self-acceptance resonates through the school, altering the social dynamics and sending a message that it's okay to be different. Lucy is ultimately confronted with making a difficult choice when Becky decides she wants Lucy back as her friend. Lucy must decide whether to return to her former life of popularity, which now seems shallow and unfulfilling, or to stand by the true friends who have taught her the importance of kindness, inclusion, and being true to oneself. In the climax of the story, Lucy's newfound understanding and acceptance of individual differences come to the forefront when she passionately defends Molly and her new friends against ignorance and prejudice. It becomes clear that she has matured and developed a sense of character that values the well-being and dignity of others over popularity and shallow judgments. In the end, Lucy discovers that friendship is not about social standing or being seen with the right people, but rather about finding those who accept and love you for who you are. She also comes to embrace Molly, understanding that her sister's Down syndrome is just one aspect of who she is not something that defines or limits her or their family. Pack of Dorks closes with Lucy's recognition of the strength and beauty found in diversity and the joy of having friends who can be relied upon in times of need. Through her journey, Lucy teaches readers that it's not our differences that divide us, 
but our inability to recognize, accept, and celebrate those differences. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.